Hey guys, I'm Luna and today I'm going to show you the most sought after truck in the world. It has 2 million pre-orders already. It is the Tesla Cybertruck. Starting with the most obvious feature, the shape of this truck. So this is the all-wheel drive foundation series. This whole car is made of stainless steel. They did opt for a nice camo wrap from Apex and it makes it look more cohesive with the whole theme of the car looking military, futuristic. These are 35 inch wheels. As you can see, there's these little like shapes on the side right here. This wheel is special from Tesla because of the hubcap that goes over it. It's like custom fit. So all of these things, the Tesla is designed just for, just to have the most um, aerodynamics, to save on the energy, the power, the battery life on it. So they do all these little things to it to save each and every mile for you. But when you take it off, you do have the wheel under there too. So you could leave it on or off, it's up to you. Let's open the baby up. You don't have this heavy thing to pull. All you do is just like one push of a button and it's open. There is so much trunk space. This is six feet of space and there's electrical outlets. You can have like a desk study, power up your laptops. This will even power up your house. It can power a 220 volt, 120 volt. So you can get massive power in this thing. It is like a external generator for you if your power goes out on your house. There's a nice strip of LED light right here too. I like how this has an electric door to secure your stuff. Most other trucks have just a removable one that's manual and it's difficult to put on and off. And this is just with a touch of a button and it's very secure in there. You also have more space in here. You can also make this a cooler. So if you want to tailgate, you're going to be the hit of the show. So fill this up with ice. There's a drain on the bottom to drain that stuff too. But literally this is a great tailgating truck. You got your electrical here. So this truck is also girl friendly because I can lift this up like no problem. And usually with the other trucks, I am like fighting to put it up because my arms aren't that strong. So this truck is definitely user friendly because it is what lightweight to put this up. There's a lot of safety cameras here. There are nine total cameras, eight in the exterior and one of them in the front. But the other update that they did is there's one in the front bumper. The other Tesla models did not have that before. So pretty much 360 of cameras for you. So let's look at the front. This is massive. You can like sit in it. It's so cool. There's like a practically a bench in here. So lots of seating space. Look at this LED headlight that runs all across the front end. Again, sticking with that futuristic look. This is the largest windshield in the world, along with the largest windshield wiper. Like another fun fact, the windshield wiper, the way it's placed vertically, it helps with the aerodynamics. And check out these side mirrors right here. Again, it's that sharp futuristic edge. The body panel is stainless steel. So this could withstand a nine millimeter bullet without penetrating through. And because of this stainless steel, you're not going to have to worry about scratches, replacing paint or anything like that. So it's very durable for all circumstances. The window is Gorilla Glass, so it can withstand a baseball hitting it at over 70 miles per hour. You're going to get so much protection in this vehicle. So the suspension right here could also raise up and down up to 17 inches. So if you do want to use it to four wheel drive, off-roading, this is the vehicle to do that on. So to get in, here's the button right here. And you have one on the passenger as well. So there's no door handle. You just push the button and it opens it up for you. First thing I notice, normally the new updated ones, like with my S, it has the yoke. So it didn't have the top handle. This one is kind of like a combo of the yoke with the top handle. Oh, another cool thing. It's like just touch. So I wasn't sure if I was even changing lanes or not. So they definitely made the steering wheel more updated, more user friendly. I love it. I love the grip on the top too. You can see this back window right here extends all the way to the back. 
So this mirror is just kind of, eh, it's just there. Another nice LED light right here that runs across. And let's talk about this screen. It's 18.5 inches of infinity screen and the back is 9.5. If you roll your window down, it's also rolled down. <laughs> There's this fun Easter egg that they told me that if you hit this three times, one, two, three, oh, it cracks. Yeah. You hear Elon's voice in the background because when he did the demo, he broke the window. So they add like fun features like that just to make it more fun, because why not, right? Oh my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. <laughs> the ride high you can change it again to high and that raises that up to that 17 inches max so there's a built-in hospital grade HEPA filter too so right here is the bio defense mode and if you just want that cleaner air it removes 99.97 percent of airborne particles or pathogens the center console just blocks right here but in the Tesla truck there's space and you can put like your purse in here if you have to lay so everything is like accessible. You also got your chargers right here, wireless charging pads, cup holders, and there is a lot of space you can put in here. So again, this is the foundation model, all wheel drive, and it's 340 mile range, four seconds in zero to 60, 600 horsepower, and 7,430 pound pounds of torque. And the towing capability is 11,000 pounds. We've been doing some research on this too with the towing because as you know, we also do this like drag racing and we have a truck that trailers the car. We were going to trade in the truck and my Model S for this Cybertruck, but with more research, even though it says that it's 340 miles, if you're towing the truck and trailer, it only drops it down to 90 guys. I won't even make it to the truck and back home. And then I don't want to have to charge it carrying a trailer at a charging station. So unfortunately for me and my lifestyle, having to tow, it won't, it doesn't do well for that. So that's kind of like the con that I don't like about it. Another con, the Tesla insurance. So you have the option of doing a Tesla insurance, but it dings you because it grades you. So if you're trying to drive aggressive, your score keeps dropping down, which you have to pay a higher premium for. But if you're a good driver and a real follower and you keep the score up, then you'll have lower insurance. So it's up to you if you want to play that game with them. <laughs> so another con is the calculations isn't as accurate. So it could say that you have 340 miles when you're in max charge, but when you're driving it like halfway through, it all of a sudden drops down to like 100 miles, especially if you're towing. So it depends on the weight, the weather, the speed you're driving. All of that is a factor on how many miles you actually get. So when they do say that 340, it's not an accurate 340 and it doesn't calculate that for you if you have a bunch of weight if it's cold if you're driving fast that's the stuff they need to work on but other than that i think it's like a pretty cool car okay so let's take it for a drive and let's feel that 600 horsepower but i mainly want to see how it feels compared to my model s versus the Cybertruck because this is a lot heavier but there is this new technology here that's the steer by wire and rear steering. So it doesn't have that steering shaft right here. So everything is electronically assisted, which sounds scary, but you do get more turning radius and there's a lot of safety features, features on that. So it's not like it's gonna just automatically just like go off course on you or anything like that. So let's test that out too. When you close the back gate or the cover, you get a rear view mirror right here since this really doesn't do anything for you. So let's go. Okay guys, right off the bat, as I'm steering, I can already feel that steer by wire technology. So it is electronically helping me steer and there is no steering, steering shaft in this. So everything is just, it helps. Like it makes it so much easier. And I think this is probably the only car, I know they do have it for airplanes, where it has that steer by wire steering and it just makes it so much easier to steer. I'm hardly turning, it's already turning. So I feel like I have so much control of this car. So you definitely get that handling of a sports car 
and way better handling than most sedans. So it's so impressive. The suspension feels smooth, feels like a truck. I still feel that lifted feel of the truck. It definitely, I feel the weight when I'm driving. It is a heavy vehicle. So I'm backing in and out of a parking spot to test it and this turning radius is amazing. Okay, that picked up super quick and man the the tesla torque though is unlike anything else and this definitely has a bunch of torque into it it doesn't feel that heavy when you're trying to to get that so when i was changing lanes you could see that's the rear view mirror but when i'm changing lanes i can't see what's directly behind me now it's moving on to the side so when i normally drive i do like to look at both aspects of the rear view mirror and where i'm turning to make sure the car doesn't hit me so i don't know if there's like a extra setting for that but i think that's just kind of weird and makes it difficult to like really see if someone's gonna hit you in the back. Okay guys, that wraps it up for the Tesla Cybertruck. Overall review, I think it is a great truck. Two thumbs up, lots of features in it, but I would not give up my truck for it because when we're trailing out the car to the racetrack, there's not enough mileage. You only get 90 miles for that. So unless that improves, then I'll switch out the truck. But otherwise this is a great truck. And I want to thank BC Cybertruck for loaning us this Cybertruck. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe notification bell. That means so much to me, but I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting. Thanks again. See y'all later. Bye.